On a day-to-day -day basis, I really look at how the plant's performing, any changes. Um, I track masses and masses of variables on the plant, on very complex spreadsheets and things like that. And then I look at what I can do to make it better. I'm a head of R&D at my current company. It's a small firm, it's only 60 people. So I'm, I've got about two or three projects which we're working on, trying to get them from uh, concept to market. Uh, we basically build and design chemical facilities, pharmaceutical facilities and refineries in the UK and all around the world. It'll be fun, it'll be fun. And basically what is interesting because I have to look up available processes before in schemes and then come up with my own initial plan and then the ways to improve the process. So uh, there's some novel treatment technologies that we're doing and we're just trying to get them into the marketplace. Uh, we have to do some testing on them some pilot plant work on them and for that we're using some graduate scientists so I'm sort of managing their, their work and their pro uh, project work at the moment. So I look at the direction I want to move the plant in and I look at what I actually physically need to do on the plant, what I need to change to move in that direction. And then we have to obviously assess health, safety, environment and impacts of doing all those things and the financial aspects of that as well so it's all the various different sides to it all in one. The, the variety work that's within that job it's just fantastic you, you don't know what the next day is going to hold. I'm responsible for health safety and environmental compliance and that, uh, that relates to ensuring best practice standards and to uh, uh, our systems and procedures, compliance with legislation and uh, ensuring that our systems and procedures are, are, are adequate for the work we're doing both in the UK and around the world. Mostly it's design sort of work, so it's, you know, if someone comes to you with a problem and you say well what are the options to deal with this problem and then what are the options, what are the, what's the best of those and why is it the best one and what's going to be the safest, you know, the most economically viable and it's the opportunity to, to weigh up all these different factors to come up with the best solution to what are really difficult problems. So that's kind of what I do day to day.